Hello, my name is Lauren Walker and I did my critical thinking paper an oral presentation on the relationship between music and society. <clears throat> music plays a huge part in our everyday lives. Teenagers spend a majority of their impressive teenage years listening to music. When you get in the car to run a quick errand to go to the grocery store, you want to hear your favorite song come on the radio. And sometimes you don't even want to get out of the car when you get to the store. Often, a bad day can be remedied by hearing your favorite artist on the radio. <clears throat> music has the ability to make you feel sad, happy, angry, or excited. just depends on what song is playing. The language in the music we listen to makes our senses actually feel what the words are saying. Music plays a very important role in our society today. The music we listen to can greatly influence our actions and behaviors. Music and language used in the songs we listen to have a great impact on our lives, and especially the lives of today's teenagers. There is a direct relationship between music and language, including the profanity and racial slurs in musical lyrics, in that it influences the lives of teenagers, generates hate among groups of people, and it promotes offensive reactions in audiences. <clears throat> Music and language share an influence on today's teenagers. Statistics suggest that young people spend a large portion of their day listening to music. These teenagers are listening to songs, learning the lyrics, and memorizing the lyrics, and be influenced by what the lyrics say about the music they listen to. While some of these songs may be appropriate, others are not for younger viewers. Some song lyrics speak of violent acts against others. These violent song lyrics release negative emotions that can lead to aggressive behaviors in teenagers or any other age listener. <clears throat> songs often use profanity or racial slurs, which are demeaning to other groups of people. The different types of music and language can affect the mood of the song also. For example, if you turn to a western, country, or bluesy station on the radio and hear an artist singing about a bad breakup, it might make you sad and put you in a depressed state of mind. If the country music artist is singing about going to the bar, drinking alcohol, and having a great time, it could portray the message that it is okay to act that way when it is not. <clears throat> Profanity in song lyrics often generates hate. This hatred can be manifested against a person or a group of individuals. We live in a culture that is constantly struggling with hate crimes and violence against minority groups. Teenagers are highly influenced by what they hear and what they see. Often, teenagers may want to be just like the popular musical artists they listen to, and then they try to copy and imitate what the artist dresses, talks like, what they look like, so they can be cool just like the artist. Hip-hop music is very popular today, and it seems all ethnicities and races listen to it for its upbeat musical sounds and dance qualities. However, the majority of hip-hop songs are not appropriate for teenagers. For example, hip-hop rappers often speak of killing white people, Mexicans, Latinos, or other groups of people. The artist speaks out about discrimination, rape, murder, drugs, and other violent acts as well. <clears throat> hip-hop rappers often use profanity in lyrics that promote hatred among groups of people, because they often talk about real-life situations that have influenced their lives. Even though they use these words and situations to add emphasis to their music, they often reflect the actual environments in which the artist grew up, lived in, or struggled. To the hip-hop artist, it may be his or her normal way of speaking, but it is highly influential on today's teens, as well as other age groups listening and promoting the music. <clears throat> Music and the language artists use in their songs are very influential in the lives of people today, especially teenagers. Most of today's songs, regardless of the musical genre, use profanity and racial slurs. 
promote drug use, and are not appropriate for teenagers. Teens are influenced by everything and everything around them. They are very impressionable and eager to fit in with their peers and will usually do anything to fit in with these new friends. Rap music or hip-hop is a favorite among teenagers because of its upbeat sounds, catchy music, and frequent talks of drug use and explicit slang or profanity. <clears throat> it often suggests acts of aggressive behavior, violence and crimes, as well as racial slurs. These topics can lead a teenager to act aggressively and impulsively in their actions. In conclusion, today's teenagers are highly influenced by the music they listen to and its language content. Teens are going to listen to music. Most of the music they listen to uses profanity or racial slurs that are inappropriate for young people. The musical content these teenagers listen to today greatly influences them and their behaviors.